Let's cook. I am Elizabeth Ingero, the producer of Let's Cook Reality TV show. I will be taking you through the series so far. Group one consisted of Juliet Subi, Pablo Semper, and Paul Wanyala. Let's have a look at their signature moves. Juliet Subi, Pablo Semper, Paul Wanyala. So we've managed to find out a little bit about the contestants, who they are, how old they are, and what they do in life. I like reading Christian books. Although my training was mechanical engineering technician. I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a farmer. They then had to go into the challenge of cooking an omelette in five minutes. Yes, you heard that right, five minutes. Now, for Paul Wanyala, he clearly stated that this was his first time cooking the omelette. And what did Judge Michael say? Yeah, my first time to do an omelette. Yep. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. I think he got a bit more sympathy from Judge Priscilla. Staying on the omelette, we did have the saga of Paul's omelette, which he managed to create a three-in-one omelette. For me, the salt is fine. It's just really? the... Um, it, it's great. Actually, there is no salt, I think. Mean. Seriously, guys? Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Did you put salt? Actually, I knew we have three judges, so there's a part which has more salt, a part with little <laughs> salt, and a part without salt. So, how did he do it? We were quite blown away how you managed to do that <laughs> within the same egg. The and, talent, um, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on to the main dish. So Juliet Subi went for a healthy dish, steamed matoke, steamed carrots, and beef cooked with turmeric for health benefits. The judges seemed to like her dish. I like the, the steamed matoke. It's good. Brings out a very good taste. And here we have Paul Wanyala with his main dish. Now, he managed to pull off a very popular Ugandan meal, katogo. Let's see. It's a lot of food. I think it's too much. It's, we're feeding the 5,000. Ooh, feeding the 5,000. Judge Michael, that's a bit harsh. At least he had a supporter in Judge Priscilla. But it's katogo. Katogo is supposed Katogo's to be. Katogo. And wait for it, wait for it. The best dish so far, in my opinion, comes from Pablo Semper with his cinnamon matoke balls. Let's have a look. And what did the judges think? I like the dish. It's uh, quite incredible. It's an amazing meal. There seemed to be a bit of rivalry in the kitchen between Pablo Semper and Paul Wanyala. I wonder if they'll take that to the semi-finals. You're more scared I can see Pablo. <laughs> Only three matoke? My, hey, 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 look for your new knife. Look for your knife. Crazy. One thing I did notice, Juliet Subi asked Pablo Semper to help her open a particular item. Let's have a look. Pablo, only open this. Yes. Okay. okay. Oh, ah, open this for me. All right, let me help you out. You are not serious. Pablo, Pablo, just help the woman out. She can't open the soya sauce. Let's see what happened just a few moments later. Who has the soy sauce? Who's got the soy sauce? Huh? Leave it open. Ah, what happened? Ah, uh, yeah. Why did I help you out earlier? You never know how what you do right now will affect your future. I think that's a lesson that Pablo will probably take with him throughout his life. Well done to all three contestants. But again, we had to lose one contestant from this round. Spoiler alert. If you do not want to know the answer before you get a chance to watch the episode, then close your eyes and close your ears. But based on what we've seen, we do feel that the person who should uh, hang up their apron today and simply based on the taste of what has been presented to us is unfortunately Juliet. Oh, it seemed that Juliet Subi wasn't quite able to make it, but I think the attitude that she went out with was very good. I was expecting to stay, but in Horace, in a race, there is a winner, there is a loser. Sometimes you win 
and sometimes you lose, but you still need to keep on going. So I think that's a good lesson for all of us to take on and apply into our daily lives. Stay tuned and spread the word. Let's Cook is on every Saturday and you can catch up on the Record TV Facebook page to watch episode one, two and three before the semi-finals this Saturday at 7 p.m. Catch Let's Cook on Saturday at 7 p.m. and the repeat at 12 p.m. on Sunday. Subscribe to a producer's life in Uganda.